Hello, and welcome to what is a brief tutorial for the Super 16 uh, goal of Fatal Fury 2, which is to beat three opponents on any difficulty of your choosing. Um, Fatal Fury is a four button fighting game in that there are light and heavy versions of both punch and kick. Uh, you see the four buttons are listed here. Um, light punch is Y, heavy punch is X, light kick is B, heavy kick is A. Um, L attack, that's your lane attack. Or, or, so that's set to R. You'll really only use that if you see the enemy swap lanes. Otherwise, it will not be used. E attack. I think that's like desperation attack or something. In any case, I do not use that. I am creating this particular guide for Fatal Fury 2 for the players that don't play fighting games. I will show you a character who has very simple inputs and can still get the round clears as fast, if not faster, than the characters that will be doing complex fighting game inputs like quarter circles. We are going to be using two buttons. I'll be using the B button for light kick and the A button for heavy kick. And that, it, and that is it. I'll be using those with inputs. So. We have to beat three opponents. Our character of choice will be Big Bear. We're going to use him for his high damage grapples as well as uh, the very large range on his kicks. Now, I've tested a few openers out. There are some people I do not like fighting against. Like Kim Kafwan, avoid him as much as possible because his dive kick has a really long animation if it lands. Um, Jubei is trouble, so we don't want to fight Jubei. I've found I like starting against Shing Sin Zan. So we're going to do player one Big Bear, player two Shing Sin. Let me walk through the inputs that I'm going to do. As the fight starts, I'm going to hold up and right to immediately jump forward. And then as I land, I'm going to use B for a kick. I'm going to use B again for a kick. And then while they're in hit stun, I hold forward and A. Forward and A is really the only input you need to have outside of pressing buttons. Forward and A is going to use our grapple neck hang and you will see how much damage that does. Ideally we'll beat Shing Zin with 70 to 82 ish sec I think it's at 90 on the timer so we should beat him in like 8 seconds if it's a good round but let's see how this goes. 3, 2, 1, start! Just press start here to get into the fight. We're gonna jump, kick, kick, grab. Round one, fight. Oh, he got me anti-aired. So there we go. And then we're gonna do another kick, grab. Still fast, and actually getting hit is not bad because it means counting up our score here at the end will count less. You don't always have to jump in. Sometimes you can just run forward and kick grab. So B and then forward A. I might try that on this next one. Sometimes the jump will bait fireballs. There we go. I'm going to do that one more. Kick grab. Oh, he got the grab on me that time. It's okay. It's alright. There we go. So, pressing B without any input, or when Bear's not close enough, we'll do that straight kick with the single foot. If you press A, you'll get the drop kick with the double foot. And the drop kick can be used if they're nearly dead. Alright, we're going to jump in on Mai because she has fireballs and she likes to use them at the opening. Well, we got a power bomb that time instead of the one I wanted. It's okay. There we go. She should be dead. 
There we go. Round one. Perfect. But yeah, those grapples do big damage, and they don't take long. I can get half a health bar down with a single combo, and then I just do it again. So, jump, land. Yeah, we baited out her sweep. Then we're gonna go in and get another one. Got her. 76. I've been seeing a lot of the Terry players end with around 72 on the timer, so this is how I believe Bear is faster. And we go to our last opponent. Just I'm just pressing buttons. Joe Higashi is kind of a wrecker, so watch out for his punches. If you need to block, hold back on the D-pad, otherwise I'm going to jump in again. Got him. He was blocking a bit, or dodging rather. There we go. Still good. Mostly don't mash, just do coordinated inputs. Land your opening kick, land your kick to set up, and then it hits done, land that forward A for the grab. So without a terrible round one, this went perfect. Oh, I didn't get the input for the throw. Got him. That's good enough. And as soon as the time pins up, time. 340. How does that come? I want to see how a 340 compares right now on... 340 would get you third place. So yeah. That's an it's an easy way to do Fatal Fury for the Super 16 with Big Bear. We're, the goal's done. I'm just gonna show the inputs one more time if I'm able. Just set them up. If they block or if they get hit, it's fine. Either way, they'll be... They'll be in stun. Or they'll be in hit stun or they'll be in block stun. And that's what lets you get the quick little forward A for the grab. But, uh, I think we're good there. Thanks for, uh, watching. Any questions on how to Big Bear for Super 16? You can toss in the Discord. It should be really easy. I don't see anyone taking over five minutes doing Fatal Fury, even if you lose a whole bunch of rounds. Have fun with it. See ya.